Hey guys, Judy here. Um, I just wanted to share with you that our God is coming. We're getting very close now to a lot of flirt dates that he's given a lot of the bride with Pentecost. With Ascension Day, this week is extra exciting. Um, don't forget, God is the drama king of kings. And he knows that I know that he is, and that's what I started calling him. Because he is drama. Like you say, you tell everyone you're coming, and then you don't. And then you say it again, and then you don't. <laughs> I told him, no wonder where we get our drama personalities from. You're such a drama king, I told him. Are you going to be a drama king? And he is. He's a drama, he's a drama king of kings, and, and we're made in his image. And why do you think people are always wrapped up in drama? Because we're just like him. Okay? And, um, but don't be sad, okay, guys? Don't be sad if we're here at the end of this week. I don't expect to be, but just say we are. What are you going to do? Are you going to still love him? You're still going to believe? Come on. The drama king of kings is using dates to beckon the bride, to separate the wheat from the tares, and to test you. Do you just want to marry him for his money, for his benefits? Are you going to just walk away? Then you never knew him. If you can walk away after date sets that he gives different brides and flirt dates that he gives different brides and then you, and then they come and go and you can just walk away, then you didn't know him. You're just trying to get in on his benefits and marry him. He, he's no foolish lover. He ain't going. Okay? Love perseveres. It hangs in there. It's all up in there. It's all up in there with the patience and the kindness and the long suffering. This waiting for the rapture is not for wimps. I repeat, alert, alert, alert. Waiting for the rapture is not for wimps. You will be offended. You will be bipolar. This I call it the bipolar ride of the bride. You hate it, but you love it, but you hate it, but you love it. You hate it, but you love it, but you hate it, but you love it, right? It's just the way it is. I hate this world. I love God. I'm in this world, but I hate it, but I love God, but I hate everything, but I love everything because God loves everyone. And and uh, I started calling God bipolar after he fell on my son, and he would scream and his judgments and how he has to do it. And he was angry, and then he would cry. Yeah, he would just cry that he didn't want to judge it, that he didn't want to do this, he didn't want to do it. And I said, you're bipolar. I don't know if I can handle this. And he said, yes. He is the bipolar king of kings, and um, our God has every emotion, so so do we. So if you're a bride sharing with your groom and you think you're not going to be up and down, you're insane. You're just like him. You're, you're, you're a drama king <laughs> or queen, and you're bipolar. <laughs> it's just the way it is. It's a rapture-induced bipolar uh, drama gig and it's just the way it's been I swear it, it's taken its toll believe me on me since 2013 I'd never lived like this up and down and all over the board but God told me I was sharing with what he's sharing into and um so you guys God loves you he loves that we're excited about today and tomorrow and all this week I'm just can barely stand it in fact I'm doing things a little differently just because I'm so excited. But am I going to be excited next week if we're here? Of course I am. This whole year is high watch. Somebody asked me today on YouTube, so when's he coming? I said, anytime between now and when he gets here. <laughs> I hate it when Jerry tells me that. He always tells me that, so I told somebody else just to annoy them because Jerry always annoys me. <laughs> when I get really rapture centric, I'm like, Jerry, but when do you really think? When do you think? You know, anytime between now and when he gets here, and I'm like, shut up. <laughs> I hate it when he says that. But, um, you know, I personally, God has, he's been flirting with me a ton. And I just, it, he's, he's coming so soon, you guys, so soon. Be excited. I know other people, he's, the groom flirts with the bride. That's what he does. And he's. And, and I mean, the Bible gives such a good case and people that he's anointed to study, you know, Pentecost. It's, it's, it's an incredible case for a rapture. It really is. So it's, you got all the ingredients working right in there. And I love what a subscriber says, um, who's on this channel. Look in the comment section. He's amazing. He, he has some big, long thing he typed in one of the videos 
recently. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting your name. I'm sorry. You're so cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's nothing personal. I don't even remember my own kid's name sometimes. I'm like calling the cat or the dog or and then I finally remember. Oh yeah, you're... Anyway, but anyway, you guys, um, there's just a big, huge case for him to be coming so soon. And, um, and you just, you mix that with what he tells you and it's, it's exciting. Okay. So get all up in your groom's drama, get all up in it, be excited and, or don't, you don't have to, you don't have to, you could be a steady Eddie all the way until he gets here. It's fine. It's totally fine. All right. Love you. Have